On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a uh, one. A blessed and wonderful Monday morning to each and every person out there tuning into on the spot news media. Now, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So now the morning and my peeps have a story for share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the Diaspora. So please like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in Jamaica. So watch this now my peeps. I got to address some of the ones and ones them. The haters. We're continuously running on my inbox and I talk about Herbo on the spot. You're in farmer, you're this and you're that and you're the other. Some even go as far as adopting the American term of calling me a snitch. You all know what is a snitch. You don't know who is a farmer. There are so many positive and good qualities from America for you to adapt. But you choose to pick out the one and two little bad things them from out of America and try to make that our norm in Jamaica. Low the snitch talk, man. If you don't say me a farmer, well, fine, I we can't work with that. But too much things there in America that is positive for you to take from it. But you left all of the positive and I come take this snitch talk and I run up in a man inbox with it. Let me tell you this criminal alone can be a snitch or an infarmer. A law abiding citizen of any great nation cannot be an infarmer. So to you, the regular members of Chan Public, make that rub in our brain a little bit. You no need for no say. Once you're a law abiding citizen, you cannot be an infarmer. Let me give you an example of what an infarmer is or a snitch is. Two criminal elements decide say the man go go pan a works, whatsoever the works may be, whether they commit a loss of life, whether they commit a robbery. Two of them decide say they might go pan the works, go match the works. The works mash, police end up getting information and wall on the two of them. One decides say, yo, me I got talk, if you get a scotch free or get a lesser sentence. No, that person is an informant or a snitch. Yeah, man. But you, the regular members of Chan Public, who see them in action before the action was actually carried out, but you know, see say them are going to carry it out, or you know, see when them carry out the act and inform law enforcement about it. You cannot be a snitch. You're a good citizen who should have been rewarded for your efforts. Yeah, man. I saw the thing said. So nobody make them corrupt on the mind with some of these songs and some of these persons of influence we are talking about in farm of the dead. Now make them corrupt on the mind. And them, in truth and in fact, are the biggest in farmer. Ask the squad of them. Yeah, man. So anyway, make we continue. Now we are going to kick it off this morning here over a place where them call Bayshore Park over there in Harborview, St. Andrew. Now Bayshore Park at the garrison part, Harborview, the man them are up on the hill. You can see say, there's a lot of unfinished houses up there and literally no structure, so to speak, is on that side of Harborview. So because of the complexity of the formation of that community and of course the hilly terrain and some of what we call footpaths where vehicles cannot be driven, the criminal elements use that to their advantage to hold that entire community hostage. Now I've done many vlogs in regards to Bayshore Park over the years and I've named many criminal elements from out of that part and many of who have called many of who have named out and pushed out out there in the streets Ghana shot our country land no longer among the land of the living and I wouldn't say it's because of my doing it's more so because of their dirty kind of boy lifestyle yeah man 
So in a way, this morning is one of the same. Now this prominent figure presently on your screen, everybody know who I'm speaking about just by the look of the face. We know that this man here is known in the harbor view space as Killy Killy Torment. But he is popularly known in the Kingston Western Police Division too. He is the son of a reputed gang leader who is no longer here with us. Definitely six feet under because of his criminal lifestyle also. This man is popularly known in the Lincoln Avenue area as Lucas. Yeah man, the devil himself. This man, by the way, is presently behind bars as we speak and he has been behind bars for quite some time now. But word have it in the street that he is scheduled to return from prison in short order. Now, this brother is responsible for a whole heap of knockings and clappings. Not just in the general Harborview Bayshore Park area. But also in the general Lincoln Avenue, Lincoln Crescent area. This man is also responsible for some knockings and clappings we're going to Cockburn Pen and also in the Marvel area. So this brother has influence because number one, his mother and her side of family members is from Bayshore Park. His father, a reputed gang leader, now deceased whose name was Marlon Brando in the streets, come from Lincoln Avenue area, which has deep-rooted connections with criminal elements from Marvali, criminal elements from Cockburn Pen also. So this brother has garnered all the connections from both sides of his family member. So this brother is a dangerous youth and one to be looked out for because he can be here there or just about anywhere when he's in these streets and he has influences from all over now this man represents one of the warring factions that is tearing apart the streets of Bayshore Park Harborview now the next criminal element who is Lucas's arch rival yeah man, the main man who goes neck to neck with him over the rule and control of Bayshore Park is this criminal element here presently on your screen who goes by the name of Pablo. Now Pablo is the Jamaican Dan for Bayshore Park because Pablo also answers to another man. Now Bayshore Park for that faction has Three dons, one who is in America, one who run the ground at Jamaica but don't live pan the ground in a Bayshore Park, and one who live pan the ground in a Bayshore Park. Want to get it? Yeah, man. So anyway, me I gonna explain it to you now fully. Now Pablo are the man we are run off the Jamaican faction. Pablo and Lucas has been at it for years, neck to neck, whole heap of knockings and clappings, whole heap of youth end up lose them three pints because of these two warring factions. Now Pablo also have his financial source that comes out of America. The man will give Pablo the monetary strength and of course, the arms and ammunition that he needs to fight for the turf of Bayshore Park. Now the man in question has since been identified as Sanchez. Now Sanchez resides among you, the diaspora in the United States of America. Sanchez is the man known to be the financer for Pablo's faction of the Bayshore Park criminal entity. Now, uh, this brother here on your screen is known as Marcos. Now, Marcos are one of the man them where I lock the streets in the night. Yeah, man. This brother here run road rampant. Dangerous you too within his own right. Now, we have another youth now who is known as Richie. 
but popularly known in the criminal underworld as Ramos. Yeah, man. This brother here I carry out a whole heap of knockings and clappings on behalf of Pablo and Sanchez. This brother here have over a dozen dopey pan him gun nozzle. So that just make you know, say, yo, this brother here is not one to be toyed with. And of course, we would love the security forces to do the do and make sure he stays done. Yeah, man, if you want to get it, all right. So anyway, my peeps, make we get into the meat and the matter right now. You see this brother here right now on your screen? He's known as Chinaman. This brother here, a one of the second in, well, I would call him the third in command. As Sanchez is at the helm and then you have Pablo. And just beneath Pablo, you have Chinaman. This brother here is one to be feared because he's one of the smarter one them. Because what he has done over the years, you know, he teamed up with Lucas for a short moment and used Lucas's influence and power of getting importees from Lincoln and all over. The coming of the place come mash up a portion to man that he saw as a threat. And then guess what him do? Switch up back pan Lucas and start say Pablo and Sanchez again. Yeah, man. So a man like this, you definitely have to fear that brother here. Because that brother here cannot be trusted. When I talk about friends turn enemies, this brother here, China man. If that term friend turn enemies should ever get a meaning, China man face should be right there with both hands waving. Yeah, man. So watch this now, my peeps. Presently in the community of Bayshore Park, Chinaman has a whole lot of importees in the place. Because as I stated earlier in the vlog, word on the street is that Lucas is about to be released from prison in short order. So Chinaman is definitely in preparation for the return of Tarment. Yeah, man. But Chinaman basically not get the import to them for protect him turf, you know. It's more so to protect his head because of his past betrayal of Lucas. And he knows the depth of Lucas' evil character. And he knows that if given the slightest chance, Lucas would have slapped away all the puss and the pigeon in her yard. Yeah, man. The dog and the plate and the spoon in her kitchen. That is the extent of the brother with them call Lucas. How evil and vicious he can get. And this is not giving Lucas any form of glory, you know. We just tell it like it is. A one of the most evilest youth ever for what the streets of Bayshore Park and also that of Lincoln Avenue. Anyone that knows the character of this person that I'm making mention of can definitely say you're on the spot. You know where you're talking about. That you the normal fit him heights of evil is different from the norm. Yeah, man. So what you know, my peeps? The youth with their foreign, we name Sanchez. He have a brother who is an artist. One of them one hit wonder artists there. Artists, you know yourself. And I'm pretty sure the rest of the ones and ones them listening to the voice on the spot news media know who me attack. Yeah, man. Clip with finger. Yeah, man. You we attack, man. So anyway, I would advise you to step away from this criminal lifestyle where they draw you in. Go on back to the art of music. Because you would have served way better doing just that. And I'll say no more on that. Because them say, ah, look, can't hear you now. I go feel. So, youth, a word to the wise is always sufficient. So, in a way, there's another part of Bayshore Park known as Hill 60. Now, Hill 60 is controlled by a man known as Kamal. 
Kamal is from the General Rockfort area. Now, Kamal has a vested interest in that particular era of Bayshore. But Pablo and Sanchez them decide to say, yo, them are come clean house and take over the whole place. But Kamal has a vengeance in his heart for Pablo. Because Pablo, under the influence of Sanchez, took a brother of his life back in 2019. The brother in question is presently on your screen. This man is known as Schoolers. Schoolers, by the way, birth name Dennis McIntosh, was the Dan for a section of Bayshore Park known as Texaco. Yeah, man. And the man them named him food and broke the plate. So, of course, Kamal has a vested interest in that section. So, watch this now. We are going to talk about, again, this other controversial figure presently on your screen. A man known in the criminal underworld as Marcus. Now, this brother here will knock it and clap it by night and fool the people them by day. Yeah, man. What I mean by that? This brother has even went as far as gotten baptized, start God church and definitely switch up the whole thing upon the people him. Having many people say yes, at least one soul has been saved. But this brother definitely tricked the crowd and gone back into the criminal underworld. He's one that walks with a rifle. Yeah man. Just imagine when a Santa elf a walk with an M16 rifle. So this brother here would have definitely look. Because him literally look like one a Santa elf. I want little teeny something where I walk with a tall up tall at all times. Dangerous youth. Not to be trusted. Don't let his church going type of thing fool you yeah man because at nights when the lights are out and people go and cover up under them sheet after them say them prayers this brother is out as the agent of the devil and in the daytime try to fool you try to walk around as if he has a halo on his head yeah man but don't be fooled this brother is a real old dirty kind of boy yeah man, and just so you know too, at one point in time he infiltrated the farming community and disguised himself as a farmer. Yeah man, a lot to strap them in a dirt, pan a little farm and a fool the regular members of John Public bought him a farmer, a plant up little greens, little pepper and all of these little things and a try to sway the minds of the general public. But we know you, Marcus. Yeah, man, you're an agent of the devil himself. So anyway, my peeps, this is just a little snippet of what is taking place in the general Harborview Bayshore Park. And I will continue to feed you with information so you, the regular members of Chan Public and members of the diaspora and also the security forces of Jamaica, will stay in the know and know what is definitely happening in the grounds of Bayshore Park. So anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscasts. On The Spot News Media. <laughs> yeah, man.